Good morning. Good morning, sir. It's the Iron Sheik. Yes, sir. He's back. Pleasure for me again to Mr. Robert Stern invite me to show. Always, like I said, number one station, number one show in the world. Howard Stern, News 100, number one, best in the world. You love Mr. Stern. Exactly. He is rare, like a rare old country, intelligent Jewish businessman. Pleasure for me. Anytime Mr. Howard Stern needs me to be here. Excellent. So you're very excited this morning, because it's, yeah. it's been a little right this way, Mr. Sheik. Yes, sir. Hello, Mr. Sheik, how you doing? Fine, thank you, sir. So it's been a while since you've been back. Yes, sir. What are you hoping to have happen today? Well, I hope uh, that Jabroni Baba Love, Love John was here, or another thing is my target, Mr. Donald Trump. Mr. Donald Trump beat my boss last year and cut his hair, and my wish is to uh, Mr. Howard Stone talk to Mr. Donald Trump. I want to challenge with Mr. Donald Trump arm wrestling. If he beat me, and he can have my gold medal, he can have my belt, and he can shave my mustache. That's number one man in my target. Mr. Donald Trump, you're the richest man in the world, but you cannot afford it to buy my AAU All-American gold medal. You fire her, everybody. After I beat you in the arm wrestling, and I beat you for $1 million, and then I'm going to fire him. So you're upset the way he disrespected Vince McMahon? Absolutely, sir. Yes, sir. And so hopefully today you can sort of facilitate some revenge. Absolutely, because I'm glad to Mr. Howard Stone invite me today to a studio. So I want Mr. Howard Stone get involved to he come some contract to the Mr. Howard Stone or Mr. Kennedy McMahon. Because the way he beat my boss, Kennedy McMahon, I didn't like it. Because he attacked him from behind after he beat him and he shaved my boss. Kennedy McMahon hair. But I want to let you, Mr. Donald Trump, I'm the old man, 65 years old. If you beat me in the arm wrestling, you can have my gold medal, and you can have my WWE belt, and also you can shave my mustache. But, 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 I, but, but if I beat you in the arm, arm wrestling, and then you owe me one million dollar, and I'm gonna shave your toothpaste head. Iron Sheik is here. Well, yeah. You want to say hello to him? Uh, certainly. He looks yes, well. Indeed. You saw I hope him. I Have you met it. Iron Sheik? Uh, he was here once before. I right. thought so. Yeah. All right. Well, I wish Artie was here today because I know he does an impression of the Iron. Yes, Sheik. and he likes to work on it when <laughs> yeah, Sheik he is does. here. Yeah, he does. But uh, let me uh, let me say hello to the Iron Sheik. He's out promoting uh, a bunch of different things. He appears with the Killers of Comedy. He also, uh, there he is. That's the Iron Sheik right Hello, there. Everybody. Guy's a very famous wrestler. Hello, yes. How are you? Hello. Good to see you. Robert, got a beautiful friend that Jimmy, he watched the Iron Sheik many years. Well, what, say it on the air. What yes, is that, sir. Iron Sheik? What did you say about Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy Howard, first of all, I want to say hello to you, Hi. to you, Mr. Howard, and all your employees. Right. Pleasure again to invite me again one more time here. Yeah. Jimmy, uh, Robin, my friend, or uh, fiance. Robin <laughs> has a boyfriend named Jimmy Florentine. That's yes, right. sir. Yes. Yeah, he's a, a particular comedian star. He's one of the nicest men. He watched Aaron Sheik yes. since he was very, very young. Like your self grandfather bring you to Miami yes. to watch the Aaron Sheik. Yes. Jimmy, and uh, I want to tell Robin, uh, Jimmy is a very, very nice man. You know that Jimmy, Robin's boyfriend, and yes, wrestling uh, plays into this, actually. <laughs> uh, Jimmy <laughs> w worshipped the Iron Sheik and many wrestlers, and he had a terrible incident. What happened to... Uh, take a seat, Sheik. You relax. Yeah, relax. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, God why bless. shouldn't you relax? Are you, are you, oh. there you go. <laughs> it goes your headphones. <laughs> Sheik, hold on. You put those things... Can you get them? Can em? somebody yes. help the Iron Sheik? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get That's excited, okay. I see it. It's all right. It's yeah. Sheik, it, it, Sheik, it can happen to anybody. Uh-oh, now they're on back. They're on back. Help the Iron Sheik out. <laughs> oh, good to see you, Tommy. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, those, headphones, good those headphones are my curse. <laughs> thank you, sir. All right, thank you, Sheik. Yes, sir. Pleasure. Um, you know, uh, I was going to say, you brought up Robin's boyfriend, and he had a terrible story. I don't know if you know what's happening uh, yeah. in the audience when you're wrestling. Yeah, when he was a young man, he was 14 years old, a uh, pedophile 
You know what a pedophile is? No, sir. This I'm glad a, you asked me. This is a, a man who loves young boys. Oh. Uh, put Jimmy on his lap. He said, do you want to sit up close so, so you could see the Iron Sheik? And he tried to have sex with Jimmy when he was a 14-year-old boy. Did you know that? He no, used, I didn't know he that. He used the wrestling pictures. Yeah. He'd have pictures of the star. That's right. Oh. That's right. That and was going on. And he had better seats, and he would go up in the stands and take <laughs> young boys down and have them sit on his lap while right. they watched you wrestle. That's right. Wow, I didn't well, know that. Yeah. Like, no, a beautiful glad... story? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, anyway, so, uh, Sheik, how have you been? Oh, since last six months, I'm working. Working for the um, Killer Comedian star Bob yes. Levy, Shuli. You and are on the Killer of Comedy tour. Yes, sir. I and you actually like them. Oh, I love them, and I had a great time. Even Mr. Raleigh, last time I saw him, as a matter of fact, you talk about him. Riley Martin. Yeah, Riley Martin. I'll be honest with you, Mr. Howard. He was very nice to me. He gave me that Indian gift. Yes. And he told me, Sheik, any money, anything you need, tell me. Right. Well, uh, I said, well, God bless you. Thank you very much. Right. And, and He's somebody, offering you money. He has right. no money. Exactly. <laughs> but at least his heart wasn't big to offer me that. But one thing. I didn't like some jabroni come in the locker room yeah. and he want to take a picture and, 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 and that though he said everybody look at me here and that was kind of rude Mr. Raleigh get mad I get mad I chase that guy and he get the fuck out of the locker room well you know yeah. you, this sounds like a, you know this killers of comedy tour the, <laughs> nothing but trouble it sounds like a, it sounds like a freak show yeah. I mean it sounds wild <laughs> nothing but trouble. do you get along with Beetlejuice I know he is one of your co-stars in the killers of comedy Beetlejuice, and I heard that you guys fight all the time back. Not really, not really. You know, I'm not against. Uh, I'm not. I'm not prejudiced. But uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, Beetlejuice. Uh, he treats some people good, some people bad. Right. But the one night he had a room with me, and I said, this you, is the first time. You had a room with him? Yeah. The you shared a room with Beetlejuice? No, the promoter, <laughs> the promoter of the uh, California, yes. Mr. Sequoia, said, she, you don't mind tonight, uh, Beetle come to your room. I said, well, I don't know him very well, but if you want to come, and you guys are stuck, no problem. Right. But that was the first time and the last time, because first of all, he <laughs> didn't go sleep all night. Right. Talk and talk and talk. Beetle? Yeah, yeah. I was ready to beat the fuck out of him, but I didn't do it because respect for you guys. Right, right. So, but I want to say, uh, I tell you, Sequoia, this is the last time you give me the room at Lock Business Juice. If again the Jabroni come in my room, I beat the fuck out of him. I shoot him out of the window. But, but he's okay. He's okay now. I get along with him. You know, I, I, you know, first of all, you know, I can't believe that somebody would book the Iron Sheik into the same room with Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice requires care. I, I mean, love you. Thank you, sir. I mean, that's an insult. That was an insult. And I tell Mr. Sequoia, this is the first time you bring me to California and you give me the room at Beetlejuice. I'm not against, I'm not prejudiced, right. but I, I prefer to have by myself. Where, then where, Beetlejuice where, come my room at on this and a talk and a talk and a talk. And he used the two bullets, never, never flash the water, oh, a stinky room. Yeah. Oh, oh, what's <laughs> this? <laughs> Honestly, I, you know, the Iron Sheik brings up a good point, and I got to tell you something. I mean, the Iron Sheik is a wrestling icon. Sure. I mean, a, a guy who is well respected. Beetlejuice is a special case. He needs a care person to stick Beetlejuice in a room. Why it's, would you do that? Because well, he can be nothing but problems. Beetlejuice sometimes makes in his pants. Right. Exactly. I mean, this is a kid who needs care. Uh, I mean, well, where's the Iron Sheik going to care for? I can't even believe Who's what I'm hearing. Idea was oh, it was the worst this night. I'm your country, Mr. Howard, 45 what does he talk years. About? What does he talk about? Oh, just talk. Uh, how you do that, how you did this. The talk, he said, he was, um, he was a coach for Muhammad Ali. He was a coach for yeah. George, uh, George Foreman. He was this, he was that, he, all law and bullshit anyway. Right. So I just <laughs> listened. Yeah, I listened from here. From here was gone. Yeah. He talked and I talked to I go to sleep and finally I get up to use the washroom and it stink all over. No oh. flash at all. Did he that was it? the worst thing there. Did he make in his to. pants? Was he able Exactly. To? He, did, he did? So and he go back and forth, wow. uh, open the door, close the door. That was the worst night I had with Robert. Oh. 45 years I'm in your country. That was the worst <laughs> snow I had in my life. Were there at least two beds? 
Yeah, it was a too bad, but uh, still, uh, he never is his keep his fucking mouth shut. <laughs> and does he talk he on the talk? And he, on sleeps, the talk. and he sleeps naked, right? Exactly. And so his, yeah, there he is. Look, that's that's him. Disgusting. Look, look, look at the yeah, look at the TV. Disgusting, He's that naked. fucking jabroni. I can't fucking believe it. <laughs> he should have a room with a Hulk Hogan yeah. or Archibald Warren <laughs> or Bram Brer. Not the legendary Sheik. Like, like my, my, my good friend Tom Brelli said, Sheik, you are the people champ. Right. But Hulk Hogan is a gay bar champion. He was a monster for a gay bar. So that means Hulk Hogan and Beetlejuice, you guys should have a room together. Not with the legend Aaron Sheik like Tom Brady said and my good friend Big Jimmy said it. When you uh, say that, uh, I mean, Hulk Hogan, you know, you know what kills me? I know you don't have a lot of money. Hulk Hogan, he's got millions, millions and millions of dollars. Big houses. Big houses. How did you not get, did you just wrestle too early in life? In other words, you didn't come along at the right time? Uh, absolutely, Mr. Howard. But Hulk Hogan have a lot of money. But one thing I have, he cannot afford to buy that gold medal. Same thing for Mr. Mr. Donald Trump. Mr. Donald Trump, you beat my boss, Kennedy McMahon. You shave his hair. And I want to let you know. Mr. Donald Trump, I'm already mad at you too, because Mr. Donald Trump, you beat my boss Kennedy McMahon, you shave his hair. But I want to let you know, Mr. Donald Trump, I'm an old man, 65 years old. Right. If you come challenge with me, and you beat me in the arm wrestling, and I have a best best boss, Mr. Howard Storm, if you come <laughs> challenge with me arm wrestling, you beat me, Mr. Donald Trump, you can have my gold medal and you can have my WWE championship belt and you can shave my mustache. But if I beat you Mr. Donald Trump I'm gonna make sure to you give me one million dollar Palace, I'm gonna shave your toothpick hair you had because Donald Trump, <laughs> Donald Trump, Wait, and Hulk Hogan, both of them have a lot of money, but I am the real all American AU champion, gold medal. That fat piece of garbage, Bobo, he didn't believe it, but I wish he was here. I will ask you, you something, Mr. Howard. Try. Can you please tell me how many times? And that fat piece of garbage, Bobo, sold out Madison Square Garden. Zero. Sold out at zero. Right. How many times he sold out? Cat Paulus, Tokyo Dome, German Dome. By the way, you talk about German. Right. I was German Olympic Games 72. I love that St. Pauli beer, German beer. One of my best <laughs> beer in the world. Right. Uh, do you have any German beer for me today? We should no? be able to get you a beer. I God think bless you. Fun. I yeah, love I that German beer. We should be able to get you a Bex as well. Yeah. Oh, Bex, the Bex. Bex, Bex. Or St. Pauli beer. Yeah, Bex. <laughs> yeah, Bex. Bex is good. I'm, like, Sa I'm St. Pauli Well, Bex is better than St. Pauli. Paul. Exactly. Right. <laughs> yes, sir. Bax is good, too. Goddamn yes, sir. Right. That's right. See if you can get the gentleman back, for Christ's sake. God bless you guys. Right. Are you an alcoholic? Do you have to drink? Not really, not really. No. Look, De I, I just I thank you. Wow. God bless you. You are a good producer <laughs> because the producer of the Jen Leno, he's a piece of garbage because Jen Leno, that double jaws, he and what Hulk Hogan is so, he and what Terry Bradshaw, in his show, uh, I mean, California, uh, Barbara, whatever his, uh, his station is. But, Jen, Jen Leno, you are another jabroni. Why you don't and what the real isn't religion it, but isn't, in his show? But isn't it illegal to uh, call Hulk Hogan gay if he's not gay? I mean, uh, do you ever worry about a lawsuit or anything? Well, I don't care about a lawsuit. You don't? Because everybody know who had a belt before that Hollywood blonde gay bar champ went. Aaron Sheik. When you say gay bar champion, what does that mean? That means he was a monster in Georgia and before he come WWF champion. Because I used to wrestling for wrestled. Mr. Ted Turner in Georgia. And my home is in Georgia because I left Iran. I was five years coach for University of Minnesota, Mr. 
Hulkster Howard. But wait a second. Are you saying that Hulk Hogan, you're accusing the great Hulk Hogan of, of wrestling in a, in, a, in a gay bar? <laughs> yes, sir. He's a gay... <laughs> Oh. Yeah, check, check <laughs> yourself. Very nice. He's a gay bar chaplain. He just Tom Riley, my friend. Tell did you me just shit. open a? Did you just open a beer with, with a, a big with, with a big lighter? Yeah, not the big lighter, little little lighter. A, a, a big lighter, a big B I C. I right. say uh, that's amazing that you're able to do that. That's that's exactly yeah. because I'm a real chaplain, <laughs> arm wrestling. Donald Trump, I want you to come son and a paper to my my boss, Mister Howard the store. If you are really rich. Trend, and you can afford it. You cannot Gee. afford it to buy my medal anyway. But I'm going to beat you, <laughs> and I'm going to fire you because you fire everybody, and I'm going to fire you. Why don't you make this challenge? Uh, since you want to arm wrestle uh, Donald Trump, the loser has to get banged in the ass by oh, the winner. Oh. Exactly, but, right. but I'm a him. Yeah, but I'm a Shia Muslim. I don't, I don't want to have a sex with him. Why? Why are you against uh, Donald Trump? I don't understand. Why? Because Donald Trump, I saw his show, and he fired everybody. Right. He thinks he's the richest man in the world, right. which is, I believe that. Right. Uh, and, but I'm a rich man in my way. That means... He beat his, all his money. Because you have an Olympic medal. Exactly. Right, okay. Does it anger him that he fires everybody? Is that what it You're is? You're angry that Trump, Donald Trump uh, fires everyone? No, I'm not against the dad. He, he's a boss. She, he can't do that. She. But I'm mad at him because he beat, he beat my boss, Kennedy McMahon, last year. Right. And tag him cheap shot from behind. And he shaved Mr. McMahon hair. But, but, but she, <laughs> let me ask you. I didn't lock it. I'm worried about your health. I'm worried about you. I like you very much. You're drinking a beer. What time is it, Robin? It's, it's, it's 8.49 uh, in the morning. It's very yeah. early in the morning. You, you know why? Yeah. The reason I drink beer, that the beer gives me energy, power, so uh -huh. I can talk to the <laughs> greatest, number one, radio station man in the world. But aren't you Hover nervous? Robert Stone and Robin and all employees. Robin, is it Greatest George, station in the world. George, isn't it unusual for to drink this early in the morning to have a beer? I would say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but you know, he's... But I'm happy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm happy, don't worry. I'm not going to get a heart attack. I'm not going to die. I'm the strongest human being for my age, 65. That's because I want a challenge. Oh, 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 wait a second. Beetlejuice is on the phone. Oh. He is pissed off at you. Hold on. Wait, let him Fuck say. him. Let him talk. Right. The, what the fuck? You want to say let him talk? Beetle, go ahead. Yeah. What did you just say about me? What? What did you just say to me? What did you just say about him? I just say he's a good man, but that night he has stayed with me. He talked so much, I didn't sleep. You, ke you, uh, kept, it, you kept the sheik up. You think I'm a goddamn joke? Yeah, yeah, he said you talk too much. I'm not, I'm not a punk, not a pussy, not a faggot. I'm telling you like a man, straight up. All right, well. Well, you, he you, said you, next time he's going to beat your butt or something. Right. What did you say? He's going to kick your ass. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to do it. All right. Well, let me tell you. I think you've made an enemy here. Uh, well, uh, but if you want to challenge me with you, I'm ready, Bubba. Would you? Yeah, let me know. That is Beetlejuice. Yeah, Beetlejuice. Yeah, Beetlejuice. I, I respect <laughs> you, but that night, California, you come in my room, and you talk all night, and use the fucking toilet. You didn't flush the water. You didn't take a shower and sting all night in the room. That's because I was mad at you. Not me, pal. All right, Beetle. Well, there, if you want to say one final word to the sheet, go ahead. I bet you I wrecked your f cop. Oh, what? Fuck you, punk. Oh, boy. Oh, my, boy. Dick is, my dick is bigger than all your fucking body. <laughs> my dick can beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> right. Well, uh, you're oh, saying your penis can beat him up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not even my arm. My dick can beat him. <laughs> Well, and I make you humble. <laughs> Sheik, speaking about your dick, I got to tell you, I was watching a tape of you on the internet, and it was most disturbing. You were mooning into a camera, and then you turn around and show your penis on camera. Jeff! Jared! 
Street Boots and they go, New Jets! And I get sorry! I get sent to you, Jets! And suck! My tenants, God! You would want that people to go, see what I love you, God! What you dig up, Chief? Yeah, this is a family show. Jesus Christ! Holy shit! I never thought that I would see the day that you, it's almost... And is his penis, since you've seen it, bigger than Beetlejuice's whole body? It is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Take a step. God bless you. And you are uncircumcised. You well, are, you uh, are... Yeah, because, you know, Jewish and I am a Muslim, right. and we do the, that circumcision, whatever you said, or the some of them... Yes, they don't. Muslims right. do. Right. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. I saw your whole penis on this tape. So, sorry, Mr. Howard. No, it's Because okay. that night, at that jabroni, my agent, Eric Sims, he's another jabroni Jew... Not like you, you're intelligent. I love you. That's all right. But that jabroni, and yeah, I need to know to get as smart as me. Take me to some party, and then uh, some another friend was over. They call him New Jack, yeah. and myself, and then uh, that jabroni Eric Sims. He wants to uh, get a smart with me, make money. What is with you and your manager? I understand you smack him in the head, and you hit him, and you beat him, and uh... Mr. Robert, yes, he deserves it. <laughs> I slap his face because he take me to take a picture with another gay. They call him Altmore War. Altmore War. He was a mistake. USA and his private time, Mr. Robert. I beat him with my Persian club in Georgia. Right. I mean, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he comes to the Big Apple. But you call the ultimate warrior gay. Oh, he's worse than. He's worse than. <laughs> what do you call Michael Jackson? He's worse than. Uh, <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> he's worse than Michael Jackson. Oh, what? because Michael Jackson, high class. All right. He liked the young boy. But that guy, ultimate warrior, he's Self, his self himself to the people, to somebody fuck his ass to give him money. That was a disgusting. Randy Savage. Him. Randy Savage is on the phone. Wants to speak to you. Yes, Randy. Iron Sheik. Yeah, you are the jabroni. You have the small dick. You're you're a loser with your cheap small metal. Yeah. Randy Savage is a wrestler, too. Randy Savage, you are another no good son of a bitch. I bet she was here to I fucked your ass with that gentleman beer. Bex. Bex. There you go. All right, Randy, I'm sorry. Sheik is not in the mood, I guess. Oh exactly. Randy, yeah. we got to go. Fuck the sheik. Uh, fuck you. I wish she was here to have fuck your ass with that box German beer. When did you because guys I'm a Muslim. I cannot Get fuck you with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Randy Savage. Thank you. How long wow. ago did you used to wrestle Randy Savage or no? Oh, yeah. I wrestled with his father. God bless him. Angelo. I wrestled with his father, yeah. uh, Angelo Savage, and his brother. You have a good brother, Lanny Puffo. Good, good young man. No. And God bless his wife, Elizabeth. She passed away. Beautiful lady. I cry for her. But Randy Savage, you're a stomach like Jay Leno. You and Jay Leno sucks. Right. Okay. Hey, Hulk Hogan's on the phone. Oh, fuck Hulk Hogan. <laughs> right, 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 right. No, for real, he's really on the phone. Oh, my God. Hulk Hulkster, uh, hi, Hulk. How you doing, my friend? Hey, how are you? Hey there. You're embarrassing me running around like an idiot in your trunks. Uh, he says you're an embarrassment. Because you are a liar piece of garbage. No. You come to me, he no. says, Shiggy baby, I love you. No. After I lost my belt in the Madison Square Garden, New York, you lied to me. Hulk. And also, you cheat your wife because you have a sex with your daughter and girlfriend. What kind of fucking man you are, Hulk Hogan? I'm the man. I'm a people chopper. You are, like my friend Tom Brady said, you are fucking gay bar chopper. I am the man. Hulk, Hulk, do you want to respond to this uh, accusation? Uh-uh, wow. brother. No? Oh. Uh-oh, he's pissed. Man. Are you angry? Fuck him. I'll break you in half like a little toothpick. Fuck you. You want to do all wrestling with me? First, let me be Donald Trump, and you're going to be next in my target. You want to arm wrestle? Please shut up. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Have your word. If we're in a real street fight and you ever got close enough to hit me, it would be all over. 
Well, come and show me, you punk! I'm stopping from hitting you. <laughs> yeah, what kind of fucking man you are to cheat your wife? I'm beautiful lady, Linda. I'm behind your fucking son. Fucked up that punk and make the passenger to go be in the coma. What kind of fucking son you raise and your wife, nice lady. I love her. Huh? Linda left you because you cheat, Linda. What? You cheat, Linda, because you have sex with your girlfriend, with your daughter's girlfriend. What the fucking man you are? You are not, you are lucky. You're not Germany. Otherwise, you're going to fuck your ass with that bag spear. Look, man, I made a mistake. Oh, you make a mistake? Yeah. Too fucking late. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you wow, Hulk, Hulk is agreeing Hulk with you. agrees with you. <laughs> you trained him. I'm madly in love with you. What? You're, what? I'm madly in love with you. Uh, <laughs> you yeah, go for Be in love with your fucking son before somebody fucks us in the jail. I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you. All right, Hulk. Thank you very much. Oh, oh you make me mad again. I get sweat now. No, yeah. you are really on fire. First of all, let me tell people what you're up to, Sheik, so you can calm down. Yes, sir. Uh, see, <sighs> thank God we got you a beer. See the I Is that your first beer of the morning? That's my, no, that's a matter of fact, uh, first batch, German First beer. batch, yes. Because that's a strong beer, a lot. You're still doing coke, though, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. No Swear to God, Mr. Robert, since I'm working for Killer Comedian, Mr. Robin, uh -huh. Bob Levy, no. All right. Uh, All right. I, I don't CD. do nothing. S Only a smoke cigarette with Shuli and Sal in the locker. Wait, Donald Trump is on the phone real oh. quick. Yes, Mr. Trump. Hey, how are you, Trump? How are you, sir? I'm uh, pretty good. What do you, would you I, would you arm wrestle Iron Sheik? <laughs> sure, sure. You would do you would do it. Piece of shit. Well, you fuck you! I'm not piece of shit. You are fucking piece of shit. Chief shot you beat my boss, Mister Big Ben. But if you think I'm a piece of shit, come and try it. I'm gonna fucking fire you. Oh, yeah. sure you are. I'll take one of my helicopters and shove it right up your Iranian ass. <laughs> fuck you! You. I can't even fucking uh, beat me to take my gold medal. I have a lot of respect with you. Right, I have a lot of respect for you. Don't cost me. Otherwise, I'll beat the fuck out of you. And i fire says, you, he, too. Sheik, the Sheik says he has respect for you, Mr. Trump. Yeah, exactly. That fucking gold medal is worth about $5. I make that in two seconds. Oh. But fuck you. With all your money, you cannot afford it to buy my gold medal. I think that's a wooden nickel you're wearing around your neck. Oh. All right, Mr. Trump. Never mind. Fuck right, it, Mrs. Trump. All right. All right. Well, obviously. All right, can I it. ask? Sure, George. You know, with all your violence and vulgarity and exposing your privates and all, do you consider <coughs> yourself a good Muslim? He's talking to him, Mr. Trump. Yes, yes. He is. I'm uh, sorry. Say it again, That's sir. George Takei, the famous actor from George Star Trek. Oh, sorry well, about that. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yes. Sheik, put sorry. the mic. Uh, Gary, help the Sheik. Gary, help you. Gary, excuse me. I like Gary. Uh, George had a question for you. Yeah. Gary and I begin right. Look like you are Italian. I'm Iran. Italia, Iran. All this country in the Middle East. Jerusalem, Italia, Iran. We go long, long time. What Go happened, ahead, Gary? Gary? I'm sorry, I break it. Yeah. It's oh, broken. Right, so give him a different set of headphones. Give me a All right. Give him a different set. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Well, you're very excited. All right. I, hold I on, asked. George. Let, let him get Just the headphones on. Right. Hold on a second. Yeah, yes, Sheik. Go ahead. Yes. Good, Gary. God bless you. Right. Sit down, Sheik. Yes. <laughs> Are you calm down? Yeah, I'm going to calm down. Okay, I'm feeling down. you're going to get riled Don't up. Don't make me too excited to get up now. No, no. Only I get up for the man. He, he asks you, Are, do you consider yourself a good Muslim? Because I did my prayer five times a day. Do you pray to Allah five Allah. times a day? Ya Allah, Ya Muhammad, Ya Ali. Right. I'm a Shia Muslim. And does he approve of your exposing your privates and your vulgarity? Does and Allah approve of your using curse words and... Uh, and exposing your penis. Uh, to I'm you. glad, Mr. Robert, you explained it better because yeah. my English, I'm not a school teacher. Right. I'm glad you explained it. Do you disapprove of him, George? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm just curious because, oh. you know, he's Muslim, he says. And he's right, right. Wearing... You're right, George. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to show my penis or show my ass to anybody. You're right. But you get but... carried away. You have a temper. <laughs> no, there is an idea that, that 
Jabroni Eric Sims. He <laughs> don't the agent made you do it. Yeah, the Jabroni Eric Sims is in the back, uh, in the dark room. Let me ask him why he made you do that. Yeah, I wish you could ask for you. a second. Real quick, I want to know please. why your agent made you show your penis. Right, but he's asking. Because uh, I saw the tape. It didn't look like he was forcing you to do anything. <laughs> what? Well, he wanted to send a tip. He, he uh, do that, and he get the money. He doesn't even give me the money. Nothing. You are the Sheik's manager, I take it. Is that the right word, manager? <laughs> yes, I'm his manager. What do you get, 50% of his income? No, 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 no. I'm no, 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 half and half. He lied to you, Mr. Robert. Hey. Whatever I make, you take half. He does? No, yes, sir. No, no, that's not No, true. no, no. Did you take half last night or no? Did you give me like 600 last night? How much you give me? Say 300. That's correct. <laughs> okay, but, that means you take half. But, but, she... but what? Tell me, Mr. Robert. Don't tell me. Uh, don't lie to me. I I'll beat the fuck out of you, too. Calm down. Calm down. Why do you take 50% no, of the exactly. money? Exactly. Tell me, no, no. Mr. Robert. When we, do pictures and, when we do pictures and Polaroids at the shows, we split it. That, it helps offset the expenses. Right. So. Okay. And he books me, and he charges people, too. Whatever I get, he gets half. Well, so just, no to, good. just to explain, I didn't make him get naked on here. New Jack was already getting, you know, showing his ass. And Han, 50% Han, is a lot of money. Exactly, Howard. God it's bless you, sir. It is. I love you. God bless you. It's That's a not true. But. Well, what no, you? what do you mean not true? Last time I've been filling the field, I made $600. You take 300 Do I ride around? That's because we were splitting the no, pictures no, of both. No, no, do I ride around? Wow. That's what right. Polaroids. Okay. Polaroids. What's what the expense? Doing? Well, it costs it cost money for the Polaroid film. you got to go to... Right, the Sheik's headphones are falling oh up again. <laughs> well, help the Sheik, will you? You see the Sheik's headphones. Uh, you make me mad again. I want to beat the fuck out of you, too. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't want an incident like the Ultimate Warrior. It's, it's okay. Has he so, ever hit you? Yes, he has. Yeah. Why that machine you... makes me mad. What? Try to get a picture of the game, man. Ultimate Warrior. Because he want to sell it, make money. You, He's the guy who set you up with no, Ultimate Warrior? Yes, right. sir. Right. Yes, sir. And you, right. and you guys can continue? Explain? All right, let me explain the situation. All right. We were at this big football convention. Hulk Hogan was there. Ultimate Warrior was there. Uh, Iron Sheik and Bruno were there. Right. I, want, I like taking photos with the Sheik and the different stars because I think it's good for business. Right. No, no, no. Photo ops are good good for you. Do you sell it and make money? Well, and you, you make money even, too. You don't even send it for me. Of course I send it for you. No, not all the time. All the time. All the time. But anyway, he, 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 anyway, I took him over to the Ultimate Warrior to, <sighs> to get a picture. And, you know, there's some memo out there that Ultimate But he doesn't Warrior, like the Ultimate Warrior. Well, Exactly. Why would you make well, him I'm a legend, not Ultimate Warrior. Why would you give Ultimate Warrior well, the honor of standing next to well, Iron Sheik? We, right. we didn't know there was going to be a problem. The Warrior told him to go away, and it was it just turned into a bad situation. And hold it, Brian Blair is on the phone. Fuck the Brian Blair. Hold it, hold it, <laughs> Brian Blair, you're on the air. I tell you something. Well, I tell you something right now, you fucking asshole. Fuck I you, punk. You see you for the human piece of shit that you are. You are fucking another Jewish swag and suck Hulk Hogan, dick. That's because you had the job in WWE. You are a fucking piece fuck of shit. Fuck you, punk. I fuck you. I fuck your sister, but not your wife, because I, I respect you. your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Let me understand, Brian Blair. What do you want to say to the Sheik? You have the microphone. Fuck you, you white asshole. I fuck Whoa. you, punk. I beat the fuck out of you. 93,000 people in the punk jack, Michigan, and it's still. But what is he saying? I just fuck your bitch. What? I Brian. beat that bad German bitch. Mr. Blair, what do you want to say? <laughs> yeah, go take another hairbrush in your ass. Fuck you, punk. All right, you okay. Are a fucking piece of shit. You are a piece of shit. All right, Seven this is not going sister. anywhere. I fuck her pussy. All oh right. My. Well, Sorry about that, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you, I have never heard of an agent getting... The, the only guy I ever heard getting 50% was Elvis Presley's Colonel Tom, Colonel Tom Parker. Parker and they you. say it was too much money. Like, my <laughs> agent takes 10%. That's I, fair. I love you. Ten percent is fair. Perfect. All right. If you you're doing twenty-five percent, if you're doing twenty-five percent of the Iron Sheik is a full-time job. You have no idea. What everybody, do you mean? everybody sees the finished <laughs> product of us just showing up. Right. Nobody understands what it goes, what I go through to get him. In to, other words, to, you do more than just agent. Oh, yeah. him. You have to get him oh, there. You have I got, to. I got to pick him up. God forbid I'm late. He yells like a lunatic in the airport. Where he nearly gets himself arrested. I got to calm the cops down. I got to calm him down. <laughs> It's, cr it's crazy. Oh, okay, so you're, yeah. you're doing a lot more than oh, just Oh, yeah, being, I mean, there's, okay. more, there's more than meets the eye right, here. Yeah, right. but still, it's not fair to you take out half of my money. No, I don't take it. Oh, you date! You sell my DVD! I never stick in the one dollar! First of all, I don't help sell the, the sheik, DVD. Help the sheik with his headphones, Will. <laughs> yeah, they're Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Gary, where's Gary? Gary? Oh, that's Will. <laughs> 
Wally, oh, yeah. you're a little punk <laughs> piece of shit, no good. Now, you hung you up on like Will. Will, Will, was wow. giving yeah, you, Will, was, Will was giving you a pre-interview, and Will asked you a gay question. What? And you hung up on him, and you wouldn't talk to him ever again, right? Yes, because Mr. Donald Why did you insult him? I team? have an issue with Mr. Donald Trump. Not that fucking Miss Get It. I'm bad. I want to do it. <laughs> no, I don't have an issue with do? him. Yeah. He tell me if Mr. Donald Trump beat you, can he fuck your ass? Can you imagine this uh, punk? Don't uh, face him. Oh, hey, 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 Sheik. No, yeah. that's Sorry awesome. about that. Come Sorry on. about that. Hey, hey. Are you okay, Will? Give me my beer, man. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't Let's never insult me again like that. No, I didn't mean to be Mr. insulted. Mr. Howard, right, never right, insult right, me. Okay, okay. So I'm apologizing. Right. So I'm sorry. Will, you all right? So I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm sorry. I said I was sorry okay. already. We're good, right? All right, all right. now we're good. Yeah. All right. Sorry all right. about that, Mr. Howard. Yeah, you make me excited now. And you too. I should have drawn the beard to your fucking face. <laughs> well, this is uh, something else, Robin. <laughs> Get it, baby? Thank you, sir. Sorry all about right, that. all right. Let's 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 all calm down. Really? I have a new uh, understanding of uh, the Muslim religion. <laughs> well, no. Uh, this is... Everybody, uh, well, Sheik, uh, thank you for coming in today. Oh, God bless you, Mr. Robert. I appreciate it. As long it. as I live, I have a lot of respect for you. Thank you. A lot of people think you are not an intelligent Jewish man, but you are number one intelligent in the world, and your you. radio station, over the store news, 101, number one in the world. God bless you, God bless I Robin, have one more and question. God bless one everybody. More question, Sheik. Yes, yes, ma'am. Are you in the WWE <laughs> Hall of Fame? Oh, oh, yes, ma'am. As a matter of fact, I met the Hall of Fame last year. Is that uh, right? Yes, ma'am. And Mr. McQuill invited me again for here. Uh, and they want to make for me a special Hall of Fame ring. What? And God bless him. He's a good man. All right, but she... the reason I had the challenge with Mr. Donald Trump, I really mean it. She... I wish you can son to Mr. my boss, Mr. Robert Stone, Donald Trump. I'm ready. Any time you ready. Well, I know All Donald right. Trump. And if he wants to arm wrestle you, I am sure he will get in touch with Phyllis, us. Uh, Phyllis, Phyllis. We, we Tell him I'm ready. Thank Thank you, Sheik, and God thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, and, and we'll get be back for right after play. these words. God bless you. Thank, thank you, Gary. Mr. Sheik, sir, you, guys. you got all, all fired up. In yeah, there because today. like I said, I'm a real man. Surely no, Sal no. In the locker room, nobody fuck with our Sheik and killer comedian. Pleasure for me to be part of killer comedian and star and number one radio station in the world. Howard the store. God bless America. God bless Howard the store. Everyone else is a Beautiful bunch of jabronis. Shit. Exactly. Holy shit. I'm wet with fucking beard out. Wow. I'll take over. Dude, are you, real, are you upset at all, though? I mean, it's the sheep. No, I can't. How you take that guy seriously? Like You're a product of the 80s. I knew that bottle was coming at me. I kind of felt it was only a matter of time before it was getting chucked at me. It's almost an honor as a, uh, yeah, a child exactly. of the 80s to have... A the, <laughs> the, the throw a bottle at you, yes. He, yeah. That was the clink when it hit you? Yeah. I guess. Oh, man. That guy's right. pants or something. Brody, check your set. Pleasure for me, Ravi. God bless you guys. Take care. And all this pleasure Mr. shall come Mr. back. Mr. Sheik, any final words for young Will Murray? Who? Will? Will, I give you good lessons. Next time, if you ask me again question like that, I suplex you, I put in the camel clutch, I break your back, I fuck your ass, I make you humble. But this time I forgive you. <laughs> I beat the fuck out of you in the training camp in Minnesota and you kiss my fucking Iranian ass. I'm going to kiss you baby. Oh, man. So Sit down. Sit down. Put my pillow. I can't sit down. No, sit down. Put my pillow. You're stepping on the pants here. Put him up. Put him in the pants off. Oh, Lay your pants off. I gotta see if I can beat him.